This is the worst uh, superheterodyne radio that you can make. It's beautifully ugly. Uh, it has a lot of noise, etc., etc. But it is perhaps interesting to show the principles of the superhead receiver. This is now the IF amplifier, and this is the VFO. Both circuits I have published a few days ago, and this was that circuit of the VFO. Long video, 15 minutes, and this was the IF amplifier, 3 January. And now I've made this IF amplifier here, and here is that crystal, 555 kilocycles. So that this is a selective amplifier, and you can also see that I have made the three transistors in such a way that you can vary their working point with these three potentiometers. This one, 22k or 25k, and here you can set the amplification. And what I've done now is that I, sorry, I connected here to the first stage. Uh, a capacitor of 1500 picofarad and then a wire that hangs in my room going here and here etc etc approximately four meters and now we can use this as a um, super head receiver because we can mix in on that first transistor the VFO signal the help oscillator the radio signal comes in, is mixed here, not mixed, but frequency transformation, and uh, the input frequency is transformed to uh, 455 kilohertz, and here I've made a diode detector. And that diode detector is here, that black thing here is the a germanium diode, and here is a, a potentiometer, and I will show that later the importance of that potentiometer. So let's listen to what this uh, ugly noisy radio gives us. I tune now the VFO at the moment tuned to 4.4 megahertz and with the VFO we send in a signal to the first transistor, the mixer, and now we receive something. Here's another radio station, and because the lag the total lag of uh, pre selection. Normally, you find in a superhead radio here a tank circuit with a variable capacitor so that you can tune in very sharp on that specific radio station. But the good thing from this circuit is it's pure demo circuit um, that you can um, see, uh, show how such a superhead radio works without a pre selector. So, only with an antenna here. And sending in the uh, VFO signal here, it already works. And that's interesting, that's the only thing that I wanted to show. Don't publish this circuit, uh, it's too bad. I have much better circuits both on my YouTube channel and in my books. Go to the Lulu website when you want to get a good circuit for a shortwave radio receiver between 2 MHz and say 10 MHz. Anyway, let's listen again. It's very sharp. Thank you, Google Plus and LinkedIn profiles. 
And it also shows It also shows that you don't need a very sophisticated uh, well shielded etc etc circuits to make a shortwave radio that works. This is a good setup and you can make it uh, that it works very precise and properly with a um, tuning circuit at the input. Perhaps this is interesting to show. I made a germanium uh, detector and you can see here that I add to that germanium diode a voltage, 12 volts. So an AM diode detector with some help. You give that uh, diode detector a kind of forward voltage so that it works much better. I have to say I used here a germanium diode. It was not made to do radio detection. It was originally a computer uh, diode. But it is useful when you add when you add some voltage, add some voltage here. And here are practical values to do tests with. On location A here you will see the uh, carrier wave uh, on a moment that is that it is not uh, uh, shifted in the pure audio output. So here is the modulated carrier wave and here that is filtered out to a pure audio signal on the scope. There is another video on my YouTube channel where that's also showed. So that's interesting when you do experiments with the value from this capacitor of this capacitor and that resistor you will see that the whole detection process uh, you, you can influence that process uh, making it better or worse. These are good values 47 nanofarad and 100 kilo ohms. 100,000 ohms. Let's listen. Very difficult to tune into a radio station. Extremely difficult. But um, it's only a demo circuit to show some principles of the superhead.